OK, so for discrete random variables, you're also able to find uh, the mean and variance of a distribution. So the mean is referred to as the expected value. And we write it as e of x. Okay, so this represents the mean. And um, the calculation of e of x and var of x for the, for the variance, these two calculations for discrete random variables is actually part of the further maths specification. Okay, so we don't deal with that here. However, um, the mean and variance of the binomial distribution is expected knowledge for full A-level. Okay, and um, we're unable to derive them here. Uh, how, and so really, what I'm going to be saying is just going to be stating some facts rather than uh, deriving them, showing you where they came from, unfortunately. Um, so for the binomial distribution, it can be shown that the expected value, the mean, is n times p. OK, so just np. So the idea there, and this is kind of, uh, this, this bit is kind of obvious. Um, if you had... Um, let's say uh, 100 tries at a game where the probability of winning, you could either win or lose a game, the probability of winning was 0.4. And you were going to play the game uh, 100 times, and the probability doesn't change, and it's, uh, each one is independent of the other. How many times would you expect to win? So if you've played the game 100 times, your um, probability of success is 0.4 you'd expect to win 40 of them, 100 times 0.4, okay? That's the expected value here, okay? So the expected number is the same as the mean in this case. So that's where uh, that kind of idea comes from. The variance, how uh, spread out the distribution is, is a little bit more difficult to explain, okay? Um, the formula for the variance is n times p times 1 minus p, okay? Now, um, if you're thinking about what that's really, uh, where that's really going to come from, okay, um, I would start to think back to uh, a few videos ago where we were looking at tabulating probabilities and then drawing the stick graph that would go with the distribution. Thinking about how spread out those distributions were and how the n, the p, uh, will affect this formula, okay, and how uh, more spread out it would be for certain probabilities, okay? Now, you can kind of think of that, you can think of that, um, as a quadratic function, if you like. So if you were to, um, if you were going to put in uh, and graph this, okay, the variance, and remember the variance tells you how spread out it is, so the larger the variance, the more spread out it is, then if you've got uh, the probabilities along the bottom, Okay, and you're going from 0 up to 1. Okay, then when the probability is 0, you get, well, 0. Variance is 0. Okay, so pop that there. And when p is 1, you get 1 take away 1, which is 0. In between that, you've got a quadratic. p times 1 minus p will get you a quadratic, a minus p squared. So you're going to have a parabola, symmetric, okay, between. So as the probability, the probability is continuous, the highest point will be halfway at 0 0.5, okay? So when P is 0 0.5, we get, well, 0 0.5, one half times one half, so a quarter, 
So that would be n over 4. So the, prob the variance uh, when uh, p is 0 0.5 is actually the number of trials divided by 4. Okay, and that's the largest it will be. So when the probability is 0 0.5, you will, the distribution will be at its most possible spread out. And the closer the probability gets to 1 or 0, uh, the more squashed together the probabilities will be. Okay, so as we saw um, when we were tabulating the probabilities, you got that positive skew, and it was pushing all the probabilities up to, against the left-hand side when the probability was close to zero. Okay, so it's squeezing the distribution in, and hence you'd have that smaller variance. So you can kind of extrapolate the kind of concepts of where these uh, ideas come from, the mean and the variance, um, but we're not going to be able to derive where those formulas have come from at this stage, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, one other thing that I would mention and make sure on, okay, uh, that you know, is that the expected value that you get here is never rounded. Okay. It doesn't matter uh, what the context is. Do not round that number, the n times p. Okay. So, if you found uh, for a certain game, okay, so let's say, um, uh, let's say we've got n is 5 and probability is 0 0.5, okay, then the expected value is 5 times 0 0.5, so 2.5. So, it's not saying that if there was a game uh, and you were going to play the game five times and the probability of success is 0 0.5, the, the expected number of games that you would win is 2.5. Okay? Um, it's not saying that you're going to win two and a half games. What, what it is saying is that over um, a great number of trials, you would expect on average to win two and a half games out of the five that you play okay that is really what it's saying so you may want to round that number up to three okay but don't